Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm V. For today's video, we're talking all things university and making friends. Now, I've been at university for the past four years in total. I'm going into like my third and final year, and I also had a foundation year, and I feel like I'm quite like I don't wanna <laughs> I don't want to brag but I feel like I'm quite qualified in terms of like how to make friends and how to lose friends and how to find out who's a real friend who's not a real friend I feel like I've been through it all in terms of friendships at university I'm just gonna give you some real raw and honest advice and I hope it's helpful let's say shall we get this video <laughs> This is really cheeky but shall we get this video to like 500 likes and I feel like I've never asked that before I've never asked that before because I know it's a lot but I'm feeling positive and also please comment down below what you're most nervous about in terms of making friends or what you're most worried about in terms of friendship groups and friends and like arguments all that kind of stuff and I will be down in the comment section below with you replying and giving you advice and like hopefully someone else replying it just turns into a whole reply and comment party so let's get straight into the video and good luck with Freshers Week and I hope you guys enjoy I'm so so proud to announce that today's video is so kindly sponsored by Unite Students and they are a leading provider of university accommodation within the UK and I'm so excited to be working with them on this so without further ado let's get straight into the video on some tips and tricks on how to meet new people and make friends in the coming academic year the first top tip that I really really like I did follow this and it did work for me um, is joining societies I can't stress this enough but go into a society that you enjoy and that you love it means you're gonna meet people there who also enjoy and love that society societies are not mandatory they're not compulsory they're not part of like your degree per se so if you're there it means you're there out of choice and if someone else is also there out of choice and you meet it means that like there's a higher chance of you getting along because you might have the same interests, the same beliefs, the same kind of things that excite you. So it'd be a really, really good like ground and foundation for the start of a friendship. Now the next tip is something that I did not do and I do wish that I had done is replying to group chats or setting up group chats. I'm really good with emails but I'm terrible with messages and I just did not really participate in many of the group chats and I think people came to university already having made friends in the group chats and were kind of like oh you're the one who's so funny in the group chat or you're the one who helped me with that question and I think I missed out of that bonding session of that excitement before university so I'd recommend that you're proactive before you go to university and once you're there and if you are going to be living at the Unite Students Accommodation and this also applies to any accommodation that you're living at but you should check out their student apps and for the Unite Student Accommodation it's called My Unite app and you can go in there and kind of have chit chats with the people that you're going to be living with or the people that are going to be like around your building and that just means that you get that chance to have like a bonding session before and you're all going through the same anxieties and the same nerves about being a new student and stuff so I think being like active in the chat shows that you are open and like friendly and welcome to making new friends and that will just kind of like break that barrier of oh my god we're all strangers like it will just make things a little bit easier don't be afraid to be the first one to say hello don't be afraid to be the one to like initiate conversation or to ask a question the next piece of advice that i'd give is don't be afraid to like try out new things i think that all of us are so used to sticking to like our comfort zone that when we get to university we just kind of like find what we had at home but in like other people gotta like explore and be open-minded and if i hadn't have had josh as like a really really good friend and he dragged me to do so many like random things like ice skating became a thing we'd go ice skating together i made lots of friends on the ice skating rink and really really nice way of opening yourself up and you don't even know what you might enjoy like i'd never tried ice skating before that and afterwards i was like whoa i'm really good at this and i love it and now josh and i have memories that like We'll never forget something that i did do a lot of is voluntary work like i love volunteering i love doing a lot of access and outreach work helping students 
from underrepresented backgrounds and bringing them to Oxford, giving them tours, going to schools and speaking. And that is something that I'm very, very, very passionate about. And when I do my volunteering, I obviously meet other students who are also doing volunteering. And just like the whole joining societies thing, it's just another chance to find people who share those similar loves and passions for things that you do. This one I would 100% recommend and I did not do enough of it, which is going to the things that have been organized for free. Pressures. Someone has sat there for ages and planned this for you because it's catered literally for you as a fresher. It's designed for you to make friends, they're designed for you to get to know people because they understand that everyone comes from like different walks of life, different cities and how else would you get to know each other unless you attend things and meet. The next thing I'd recommend, which I did do a lot of, is exploring your city. Like yes you're there to learn and to have your degree and to like attend lectures and go to like your tutor meetings but you're also there to actually grow as a human and individual and to learn more about you and yourself. So if you're in a city that has like lots of outdoor cinemas or has like a pool or has like crazy junkyard golf and lots of different things that like go out there and explore the city get involved take some of your friends with you that's how you'll bond and like make stronger connections or even meet new people who attend your uni but maybe don't live in the same halls as you or maybe don't have the same subject as you and my last piece of advice which sounds so cliche and sounds so like ah ha 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 it's like you have to actually be yourself to make friends and I know that sounds literally like the most cliche thing that you've ever heard but here's my analogy I don't know if I've said this before on this channel but imagine yourself as a key I literally love the saying but imagine yourself as a key and if you keep on changing and reshaping and remolding yourself by the time that you get to your lock which is your happiness when you try to put it, it's not gonna work, it's not gonna fit because you've changed and molded yourself so much, you're no longer you. So be yourself. Don't pretend to like things that you don't like. Don't like conform just because you feel the pressure of like fitting in and making friends. The right people for you will find you and like you will have the right friends. The people who are there and around you when you're completely yourself are really the people who are meant to be in your life, people that have the best intentions for you because they literally love you and like you for you. So please do not change yourselves and don't go to university and feel pressured to like start doing things that are just not you. Like you are yourself and you're the best version of you and that's why we appreciate you and the world loves you how you are because your you but equally I understand that all of this is easier said than done like it is so difficult to make friends and it's so intimidating and especially when people form groups so quickly and everyone becomes best friends overnight the friends that I had in Freshers Week are certainly not the friends that I have now so it's okay for things to not work out as well so don't be like oh my god the friends that I found on the first day are no longer here and I'm so sad no don't be sad it's all trial and error you will eventually find your people enjoy the process of getting to Know people enjoy the process of finding out what kind of friend are you and what kind of friends do you like so good luck making friends enjoy the process and if you want more support and advice from other students there are tons of blog posts from those students that are available on Unite Students blog the common room and this can help you feel just a little bit more settled and reassured if you're moving to uni and you're worried about making friends I'll put the link down in my description box hopefully it puts your nerves at ease and just helps you realise like it's okay, everything's gonna be fine, university is an experience and it's a journey that I'm excited for you to begin. Thank you so much for watching, see you in my next video and good luck with university, bye.